Fernando Fernandez for Fur TV, and we're here at the Hot Dogs Film Festival, and we're going to go to an interview with directors Anne Demare and Kirsten Kelly of the film Home Stretch. Okay. Uh, so tell us, uh, what lured you into uh, developing this film, and uh, tell us about the process of the relationship you had with your subjects. Of course. So um, I was working on a project with the Chicago Public School System, and um, had found that. Um, over 19,000 kids were registered as homeless that were going to school there. And we were looking for our second feature film to do. Right. And so we kept talking to teachers and starting to get to know kids. Mm -hmm. And we're just kind of shocked and horrified at the numbers and what these kids were going through. So we really felt like we wanted to bring attention and awareness and empathy to their struggle. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the, the three, uh, the three uh, character, uh, sorry, people who chosen this film, why would they want to share their story in this film? And what brought them to agreeing to do this, uh, to, do, to do the film? Well, it was a process to find the right young people to work with. And over the course of the four years that we were filming, we went down the road with about a dozen different kids. Mm -hmm. But with Casey and Rocky and Anthony, it felt as if they 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 really benefited from the sharing of their story. I think that, you know, Rocky particularly early on really said that he wanted when we were talking to him about coming into the project, we showed him a little clip of one of the other young people and he said, I thought I was the only one and I think it really affected him that he could share a story that would help someone else understand right. that they weren't alone. Um, but I think it's a specific relationship. I mean, I think that the young person has to benefit from wanting to tell their story as much as the film benefit from, from the story itself. So it's kind of a magical combination with those two. Now, why is, uh, it, it boggles my mind that um, homelessness is something that we don't, we don't really see and uh, we're not, uh, can't really touch, you know what I mean? But uh, why, is this, why is this such a problem that we can't see? Well, I think particularly with youth and specifically adolescents kind of in this time period when they're like about to launch into what we would consider becoming independent, right? right. A normal age from like 18 to 24. And I think that they often want to ha not be labeled. Right. There's such negative stereotypes mm -hmm. about being homeless. And so they don't want to be labeled. And they also want to stay out of the system because right. they have seen it fail so many of their friends and family and community that they kind of remain invisible. Right. So teachers are really on the front lines of this. I mean, that's what we discovered. Like, they are the ones that often are the first people to recognize something's wrong. Then they dig, and then they need to they need support so that they can really start to understand where are the resources, how can I get this kid help so he can stay in school. Right. So what needs to be addressed in terms of uh, homelessness, and uh, uh, is it is it do we need to focus more on parenting? Do we need to focus more on the education system? Or uh, I think it's a very complicated problem, and I yeah. think it, it it's not a there's not a simple one line answer. You know, we, when we started making this film, we, you know, we're not going to say how you can end youth homelessness. Right, as absolutely. long as families fall apart, there are going to be young people who find themselves on their own before they should. But as a society, I think we can do a better job of catching them when they fall right. and supporting them and understanding that in the modern world, you need help to launch. That you, you know, 18 years old and a high school diploma does not prepare you for to enter the modern economic reality, um, and it doesn't really prepare you to enter society, especially when you come out of the kind of traumas of abandonment that a lot of these young people have been through. So I think that it's a complicated thing. Parenting is enormous, and but there's also once we get to the point where we have a young person on their own, how do we help support them? How do we help them become fulfill their potential? Because that's the other part of the story, is that these young people have tremendous potential to live incredibly productive lives that will benefit everybody. 
so it's like catching them at that point where yeah. you know we're not talking about someone who's been chronically homeless for five or ten years right. on the street and has all of that psychological baggage that they will have to process for the rest of their life if we can catch them and help them we can really make a difference so how does it feel to be here at uh, hot dogs <laughs> it feels incredible i mean there's such a sense of um, excitement but also relief because you've made it through this four year long project <laughs> and you actually have uh, like 500 people watching it and the hot dogs team is incredible in making you feel really special and loving your film and just supporting it and um, we couldn't be happier that the world premiere is here. It's so exciting. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And I uh, hope you enjoy your stay here in Toronto and at the Hot Dogs Festival. And uh, please talk to us again for any upcoming projects. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.